This is the anime that saved my channel. No bait. Not even lying. Because when my channel was in the dumpsters, what did I do? I asked you guys, what do y'all want to watch? And you're just like, Dead Alive! Dead Alive! And I was like, all right. And that's when the community series began. And that's when the growth began. We are back with season five. I believe we ended season four with a huge twist. Reine. Takami Amio. Mom? Origin Spirit? Let's find out today's reaction. Ooh, CGI Ocean. Mio? Mio? See him? Is the guy that... Didn't Rainey say that she used to be in love with somebody a long time ago, but that turned out bad. And she says Shido is Shin. Shin and, and and what did not Westcott what, what what is that Westcott's boyfriend's name the guy in the wheelchair that was actually not in the wheelchair and was like oh I can stand that motherfucker um uh he mentioned he mentioned there was a, a, oh, Elliot Elliot Wood Woodman <laughs> it's Westcott Wood you gotta call him Woodman <laughs> okay there's Westcott then there's Elliot and Elliot mentioned Shido you look like that boy. Does that all connect to this Shin person who is this girl, this guy that whoever this is talking? Mio? Reine? Hmm. Shido. Shin. Reine! She like does a fucking backflip, doesn't she? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Yo, Kurumi? I love this new thing where Kurumi actually shows up in the beginning because goddamn, seasons one, two, three. Kurumi shows up in like episode eight or some shit. It's like, come on, where is she? <laughs> Murasame Reine. Phantom. Who is who? A spirit that's divided its power too greatly wouldn't amount to much more. Is this important? Is this talking? Because, like, didn't I say something in the previous seasons about how the origin spirit... Or did they even actually tell it in the plot? I forget the exact details, but I was like, Yo, what if this is, like, like Dragon Ball shit? There was used to be one... No, there there was one thing, and then it all branched out. And that's kind of what the Yggdrasil tree might be. And it used to be one thing, and then all the powers kind of just got separated or some shit. A spirit that divided its power too greatly wouldn't amount to much more. Is that what Kurumi is referring to? What are we talking about? <laughs> What's her goal? Other than that. Go to the past and do it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, go to the past and do it. Bro, I've been asking this shit since the fucking beginning. Also, why the fuck can Shiro kiss somebody and just seal the powers away? This is fucking... What? What? Our girls are back! And, you know, him. <laughs> Luocho. Because they don't really trust her just yet, right? Sephira is basically the core that gave us the powers, right? The Phantom and, and, and the Sephira was created through these experimentations where Kurumi's friend, for example, couldn't handle it. And those then in turn turn into things that Kurumi had to hunt, right? So the spirit core that's only done with the proper person that could... Wait, wait, uh, what, what happened again? So like, those monsters, if we kill them, what, what was the point of killing the monsters? I forget the exact details, because, like, Phantom made Kurumi do all these missions, and she was she accidentally killed her friend before she knew. But, like, it was to refine the Sephira. It was, like, go in somebody, you kill him, and then, like, it gets refined, and you extract it back out. That's the idea, right? Exactly what Miku is saying. Nah, I'd win. Nah, she'd win! Uh, Mana got fucking trounced. Kurumi wasn't even trying during season 1 when she was fighting, remember? And then when she actually did try, Mana straight up got dumped. Then again, she got new power-ups, right? 
She got new power-ups. She got like a new suit. She's better than before. Family, mom, big sister. Yeah. This just pans out to Reine. It just pans out to Reine after. Oh, zoom in on Reine. <laughs> also, what the fuck is that bear doing? That bear. The bear is the phantom. The bear is Takamiya Mio. Reine is not Takamiya Mio. Reine is also not the fan. The bear. The, the, the bear that has been hinted since season one and has said nothing yet. The bear. Phantom. Mm. Yeah, if only. How convenient, huh? <laughs> Bitch, where the fuck were you from seasons one, two, three? Actually, she was Cabal Held Costers doing experimentation. <laughs> Muku will straight up insert a fucking key and be like, Oh, you forgot you, you you locked your past away? Let me fucking unlock your memories. Can she do that? Cause like her powers are so flexible. It's like she can lock the spin of a fucking planet. It is so abstract, you can apply to anything. <laughs> Wouldn't that be simple, huh? Yeah, just try remembering, bro. <laughs> you, you see, I, 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 I lost all my memories. My sister and I lost all our memories. Oh, yeah? Have you tried just remembering? Oh, oh, of course! You, you think I... Oh, my... I never... Whoa! Now that you say that, Muku, wow! Wow, great idea! Okay, let's open this. Fuck it, we ball. Dying. Nah, these hoes all just fucking jealous and anxious because as soon as we unlock the memories, Shido's gonna remember fucking Takamiya Mio and another fucking lover and all the girls are gonna get fucking replaced by another fucking spirit. Here we go. Unlock. I like it when he uses like that, but. That is the first sussy line of season five. Such a long, hard, phallic object is going into Darling. Mm, if only I could have Darling cross dress as a. What was it? It's not Shido. It was. What was the girl name? You remember that? The cross-dressing arc? It was... Shirori! Shirori, good call, yeah. Okay, it'll just work. Try remembering now that you unlocked it. The first origin space quake? The ten... How many people died? I forget. That's it? No, 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 no. Origin spirit kind of looks like a lolly. I'm kind of getting worried. The body shape. Oh boy, it's a it's gonna be a fucking lolly, isn't it? Plot. <sighs> Season one. Straight up, Toka showed up. We passed out. We wake up in in Ratatoska's ship. Who do we see first? This fucking bear and Rene. After there's a voice. Remember the voice, dude. dude in season one, there was a there was a fucking voice. The, the, <sighs> I probably shouldn't uh, show. You. Fuck, I want to, I want to, I, I, I have to do it. Remember this? Remember this? Tobichi Origami, right? Remember Toko fighting? Right, 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 right? And then, and then, and then, there's a voice. There's a voice as we wake up. Let's hear the voice again. What did she say? I'll never let you go. The biggest lie. Please just wait a little longer. This is in season one. When the fuck was season one released? 20 fucking 12? 2013? Bitch, we waited over 10 years! I will never let you go. I won't ever make a mistake again. And then we wake up, and what do we see first? The fucking bear and Reine.
isn't that kind of hinting that like that is like the origin spirit that is Mio? I don't fucking know, man. But there's there's every time it's just hints towards that fucking bear. Shin, Shin again. I'm not Shin. I'm Shido. Shido, Shido, this is actually so ridiculous how many girls we have to <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 if you count Yoshino. <laughs> 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 Dude, I don't forget about Mana. Don't forget about Kurumi too, guys. <laughs> you did? <laughs> what are you talking about? Tobichi Origami first lines. <laughs> What? Are, 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 are you suggesting that you coughed or some shit? And the particles are somehow... It's like indirect kiss to atomic particles of her germs? She, she's so fucking stupid, but I love her. Oh, oh deep. Deep. Go back to the plot. What are we doing? Don't worry about a toka. You're just slow. Miku only exists to further have another person do more degenerate shit without it looking bad. Hot take? I'm standing by it. But the memories, what do we remember? What did you get? Origin spirit, kind of? Then I blanked out. Well, we can't, you know, speed run the plot in episode one. Bitch, who are you calling Shin? Who is Shin? Tell me more about Shin. Try what? It's sort of a hard, long object? Okay. No, not later! Don't delay the plot! Hmm? Westcott? So, Ellen, the strongest sorcerer ever, on to the left, her friend that doesn't actually want to work for DEM but is reluctantly doing it, right? Artoria. I forget. Don't spoil me. I don't think they mentioned it in season four. Did they ever hint at like what her deal is? Because like they, they mentioned how she doesn't really get along, but like she's doing it for some other goal. I think that's what I remember of this character from season four. She can go back in time, bro. Two hundred one times or something. How so? She'll mind break. Kurumi mind break incoming? So it's just gonna be like stalemate. War of attrition. ネルビコ、ネリ、ネリ、アフリカ。ナイトメア。ね、ニベルコ。でも一緒にいた何人かは逃しちゃったわ。もしかしたらお父さん。タガイの手の内を知り尽くした上で総力戦と行こう。君の
This is five years ago, Kurumi, right? I think so, right? This, this, because the, the, this gothic Lolita style with the eye patch and stuff five years ago, Kurumi, right? Kurumi? Saxophone! こちら早いようでしたよ。2月20日、DMインダスシドさんを殺しに来ますわ。何今日はそのことをお伝えに。で、あなたの目的は?Oh, <笑> But she can't do it by herself. That's why she's here. I wonder, like, her, her goal is to make sure it's, it's like it's a future in which Shiro survives. Well, like, what if other people die, but only Shiro survives? Would Kurumi be okay with it? Whatever you say, baby girl. Oh my god, dude, the jazz, the saxophone. Could be things too good. Even if I don't, you'll come back for me. This is kind of funny, cause like there's like a portal to go back to where all the Kurumis are, but like we could just stop her, and she just kind of just halts. She just, yeah, what's up? <laughs> she just like just I don't know. It's funny how she just just stops from going and she's just sticking halfway out. Okay. The one girl that we haven't sealed yet. I thought that he was gonna fucking kiss her and seal her in season one, bro. But she's like, me? You gonna save me, little boy? Ain't happening. Still hasn't happened yet, but like, hmm. Where did you learn this line from? Did, did his friend, Hiromitsu, you know our bi king, you know, best friends? My honey? That's something our fucking best friend would say at school. Tonomachi, yeah. Tonomachi. My honey? Oh. Oh. My honey? My honey? <laughs> Kotori, not jealous? Shin? Is this Shin? <laughs> Who's in this bear? Is this the origin spirit? What's in the bear? Why has the bear never said anything? The bear has been smirking at us for fucking five seasons now, bro. Who is this? What the fuck? Say something! Okay. There it is again, dude. Look at the bear. Yeah, just win, bro. Just fight and win. Wow, I didn't think of that. Yo, Kyohei hasn't had a single line yet. Idiot. Right, because Ellen has a sister? And they kind of hate each other. What was the... They used to be in the same company. They somehow believed in harnessing the power of spirits. And the Westcott's experimentations went too wild. And then uh, Elliot and Ellen's sister decided to leave and they kind of hate each other, right? <laughs> Voice acting this guy, bro. However, DM is an organized helm, Yoru Shiku, everybody. He talks like that! He talks like that, and it sounds really good. Maria, our AI. Our ship AI. Huh? The fuck, Maria? What do you got? 
Why, why, why? They might be listening. Yeah, she mad, she mad. ウエストコットは全地の魔王ベルゼバブを使えるんだよ。出来事を何でも調べられるということは、この話し合いの中ということ、ただし人が頭の中で考えていることと未来のことは口に出しちゃいけないって。So the limitation is basically everything that's not shown, right? So it's like it can't read minds or predict the future, but anything that happens, he pretty much knows. So it's like, what if we write? Because like he can hear the writing. He could see the writing. Because can't, we can't, we're not thinking. We can't think it. We got to think it. Okay, so we'll never know about the plans. We just won't know anything. We're just going to lock in. We're just going to lock in until the fight. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're getting baited. No, 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 no. You're ejected. You're just being rude to Maria. Don't be fair. Like what? Is she gonna sniff Shido's PE pants? His shorts? Kunka, kunka. Someone's snitch. All we have to say is. But wait, 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 wait! She don't call you my honey. Maybe it'll be fine. Emma's shooting at you, it's tight as all this one. Yeah. My honey. <laughs> my honey! No shot! No shot! She's gonna say my honey right now! <laughs> why? 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 That's way too... That's... that's yeah, only the my honey part was that good. I love, love, super love you. Let's get married, my honey! <laughs> Ultimate wingman. Kurumi is the wingman, wing girl for Kurumi. Isn't that crazy? Kurumi is the ultimate wing girl for Kurumi. My honey is not the same. Akura doesn't she knew. Yes. Are we safe? No, oh, Jesus! Indeed, Ara. Indeed,ara.ワザワザ戦力を減らすばかはおりませんわ。くらい役に立ってから戦場で死んでくださいまし。uh, I don't want this Kurumi to die. I love iPad five years ago, Kurumi, man. She's got such a great design, but maybe this is foreshadowing. Even if she dies, can we, like, get her back somehow? Why can't we? We totally could. Can't? Can't? Even if she dies, the five years ago, there's a different time that we could fucking port back. I, I feel like the time mechanic, I don't really understand, but I feel like it's possible. <laughs> Okay. She's gonna go out with the bang then, maybe. Origan is captain? These two girls were introduced pretty late as Origami's kind of friends, and they were mostly support engineers that was helping Origami with the hidden suit. I forget the exact rules of them. AST, make yourself useful. Come on, help us out. Come on, Captain. I know they can't. I feel like the future is gonna be worse than you just... Like, will there even be a prison? Like, losing jobs? I feel like that's not even the fucking problems that we have. Like, once, like, Westcott does this shit... What is his ultimate goal, actually? To get rid of us? I don't know. It's not like he wants to end the world, but, like, I never really thought about what does Westcott really want to do after, like, he beats us? Rule the world? As the king? The spirits are good. Wait! She said the line! Oh! That is the episode of Data Live Season 5. I don't know if this is going to be the final season, but it does look like it's about to... Like, this is like the final saga, final arc. We're gearing towards this final war. The tricky thing is that Westcott pretty much can know everything 
that we're planning. As long as we're not saying things out loud, and as long as everything's stuck into our head, and as long as she can't determine the future or we're thinking. There are some limitations, but it's pretty hard. A lot of setup going on, past Kudumi coming up to tell Shida what's going on, and you know, the, my honey is probably the best part of today's episode. Origami, you know, setting stuff with AST, so that's what she was talking about, you know, talking about how she has some things to do, so there's a potential that AST will actually be fucking useful and fight against, you know, DEM with their special shoots. I would love to see that. I hope we get a little bit of the gross trio, you know, shitting on Ellen, just, you know, a little bit of a callback to season two. I think that would be fantastic. And that's pretty much it. We're just setting up for war. And Kurumi at the end just said the most classic date alive signature line. Now, shall we get ready for our date, bro? It's so fucking peak. We're back. I just kind of wish that this wasn't the final season because there's a lot of uh, personal attachment for this series because of how our channel started. But this is it. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.